in all your getting, get an understanding. In all your getting, did the Bible say in some of your getting? No, I said in all your getting. I mean, in everything that you are doing, get an understanding. But get wisdom. If you got wisdom, hmm, it's a powerful thing. Get God. Get wisdom. Get an understanding. Did the Bible say in all your getting, get more ignorant? Or get ignorant? No, it said get an understanding. So that means in your marriage, you need to get an understanding. Instead of talking at each other, talk to each other and get an understanding. In your church, get an understanding. With your pastor, get an understanding. But why is it we have taken that scripture and thrown it out the window? And we done replaced it with, and everything we do, do it the way we want to do. Forget God, forget wisdom, forget the Bible, forget the right way. And all our we're getting, we're going to get more ignorant. Hmm. Proverbs is such a powerful book. And wisdom. See, anybody that lack wisdom to the Bible studies, y'all can finish that sentence. Y'all can finish that scripture. Because, see, when it comes to doing things the right way, it's overlooked. It's not an understanding on a lot of things. It's not understanding on the jobs. It's not understanding in the homes. It's not understanding between a lot of parents and their children. It's not a lot of understanding, period. But he said, in all your getting, get an understanding. Why is it that the deacons and the preachers can't get on one accord? Why is it the church folks and the pastor can't get on one accord, but not everybody? Why is it that if you are in your own home, you can't get an understanding with your own husband or your own wife? Hmm. And all of your getting, get an understanding. We do not see understanding. It didn't say in all your getting, stay confused. It said, get and understand. Understand what you are doing. And all your reading on the Bible, get an understanding on what the scriptures mean. I mean, you got billions of people quoting the Bible. But are you getting an understanding on what you read? Are you getting an understanding on following Christ? Are you getting an understanding on that your life got to line up with the word of God, because how is it you call yourself a saint or a Christian and your life don't even match up with what you're claiming to be? Hmm. And in saying all you're getting, make sure that you stay confused. Because if you are getting the understanding, how is it you walking around talking about you delivered and you're doing the same thing you're supposed to be delivered from? Any man made in Christ is a new creature. Old things shall pass away. Do they pass away overnight? No. But if you got a true understanding, and each day, each hour, each year, you walking with the Lord, why is it your walk is in the same spot? Hmm. So are you really getting the understanding, or are you just getting more and more ignorant of the word. A lot of parents are beating their kids up, cussing them out, yelling at them instead of showing them. A lot of parents are gone. But then you got good parents training up their child the right way. But is there really a great understanding between parents and children nowadays? Is there a great understanding between a preacher and his daughter? Mm. And all of your getting, why is it you can't get an understanding? Seem like the more and more we stay around here, the more and more and more ignorance is going to take over. Why is it that we could get an understanding for when we in our sinful life, 
We can get an understanding on who we gonna hold around with, who we gonna sleep with. We get an understanding on who car we gonna ride in. We gonna go do this. We gonna do our dirt. But when it comes to getting an understanding on this word of God, it's thrown out the window. I made a, a, a foolish statement a while back on her and even did a video behind it. A lot of people said you foolish for making that statement because I said, what if the word of God, and I'm going to say it again in this video because I'm like Bernie Mac, I ain't scared to say what you scared to say. What if the word of God was rolled up in a blunt? Woo! And you can smoke it and get a true understanding. What if the word of God was wrapped up in weed? And think about how many people love to get high. And every time they would puff, they'll learn the scripture. And they could learn how to live it. And as they pass the blunt around, they passing the word around. I know that's something stupid to say, but that's something I wanted to say. The understanding that we need is not there. Hmm. It's gone. And we got all of this word of God right here from the beginning to the end and won't pick it up. But we'll find time to do everything else. Some people will watch their car longer than they would read their Bible. Let me get all the way blunt again for the Facebook saints. You got more saints that are spending hours and hours on Facebook but won't open up the word of God for five minutes. I call them Facebook saints. You got a lot of people on Facebook quoting scriptures every day. But when I ask them, what does that mean? I'm lost. Can you help me? Well, you're going to come, you're gonna have to ask my pastor what that means. I don't know what it means, Brother JT. I just put it on my page because it looked good. See, stop trying to look good all the time because sometimes you got to get down and dirty for the Lord. It's too many cute people going to church. Want to be cute singing all the time. Want to be cute saints. They, 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 they don't even want to let their hair down or their shoes off because I got to be pretty with everything that I do. It's too many pretty cute saints. But ain't nothing wrong with looking good for the Lord. But catch what I'm saying with this, this cuteness because it's so many people singing just to make somebody else holler. It's too many musicians playing for somebody else to say, you played today. Are you show sure saying it's too many cute religious folks trying to bring glory to themselves? We're not getting the understanding in these choirs. Minister of Music's are not getting the understanding with their choir. Minister of Music and preachers are not on one accord a lot nowadays. Where is the spirit? And all you're getting, get an understanding. Are you getting it? Wisdom. If we are getting such a good understanding, where is the love and the forgiveness at? That ain't no understanding. If you got an understanding on the scriptures, why are you still walking around mad at your brother you ain't spoke to in 15, 20 years? If we are getting an understanding, why are black folks getting more and more ignorant at these funerals? If you're saying the person is going to go on over and cross on over in the glory, if this is a home, if this is a celebration of the home going, then damn it, let them go home in peace. Stop trying to jump in the casket and talk about, Lord, bring them back. It's ignorance. It's not understanding. Because if you understand Christ, then you will understand there ain't no death in Christ. There is eternal life. We don't serve a God of the dead. We serve a God of the living. And all you're getting Get an understanding. Let the church say amen. And I told you, Sister Lisa, as I close now, you gave me my new words. Then, there it is. Take it how you want to take it. Love it or leave it, but there it is. Then, there it is. God bless you and God keep you. If you don't learn nothing else in this video and all of your getting, Get an understanding. Get it with your wife. Get it with your children. Get it with your church. Get it with the people that you ain't spoke to. Because we gonna, what we're going to do again is wait till a funeral to try to get up and say he was a good man. She was a good woman. Give people their flowers once again, many man. Give them their flowers while they're yet breathing. God bless. God keep. Peace.